if you guys took my trade setups from Monday's video, congrats on the massive profits, guys. And if you missed out on Monday's calls, then you should probably cry a bit. Go on. I'll wait. Okay, okay. Not too much because guess what, guys? If you stick around today, then I've got some more profitable trade setups for you for this weekend. Let's go. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys learn how to become a profitable and successful trader. So make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video as we continue to spread this powerful knowledge, guys. We have two different trade setups that hit for Bitcoin and two different trade setups that hit for Ethereum. If you took either one of them, you made profits. So let's go ahead and go over them. The first Bitcoin trade I told you guys to take was a $30,000 entry. And obviously, Bitcoin ran from $30,000 all the way up to $42,000 guys. If you guys rolled that that all the way up, you would have done 400% profit using 10x leverage. If you only rolled halfway up, you would have made 200% profit. If you would have just rolled it a quarter way up, you would have made 100% profit guys. So it was a profitable trade is what I'm trying to say. So a 30K trade was a support entry and then the breakout trade was the 33,000 break, right? And if you would have entered at 33 and rolled it all the way up, you could have made over 270% and profits guys if you would have done half of that just cut that in half you could have still made over 100 percent profit guys so in other words very profitable um in ethereum we did uh we told you guys that we would love to see ethereum test 1000 and that's where we would enter on a bounce back up and over and that's exactly what it did with ethereum if you look back on monday you would see all this uh consolidation right here at that 1000 mark and then the takeoff so that 1000 mark was the entry um and then the second entry was above 1100 so um if you would have entered at 1000 and wrote it up to the top you would have done uh using 5x leverage you would have done 144 percent profit um if you would have cut that in half and only wrote it halfway you would have done 72 percent in profit guys um, if you would have, if you missed that thousand dollar entry and you would have taken instead the eleven hundred dollar entry, you would have done eighty six percent profit if you wrote it to the top. Um, if you only did it halfway, forty three percent profit, guys. So all the trades were profitable, whether you rolled them all the way to the top or even if you just did, went halfway on them, they all made profit. So today we are covering some more trade setups that we are watching this weekend. First, let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin and see what's been going on with this price. As you guys know, it's been a, uh, it's been bouncing a lot. We've been hitting new all time highs and then we just kind of been bouncing around. So people have been freaking out a little bit because there's been a little extra volatility the last few days, um, but we continue to hit all time highs. So there is a lot more volatility right now, but we're also still hitting all time highs. So you guys got to pump your brakes a little bit and not freak out too much. So as you guys can see here on Monday, we pointed out this uh, bull flag setup right here. And exactly like we said, it broke out and it just took off. Right. So we had basically um, after we broke that 32, we just had all time high after all time high after all time high all the way to 40,000. Then we had that big push right back down. So we got pushed back down from 40,000 to about that 36,000 area. And then we popped right back up. So you, as you guys can see here, this was on yesterday's video. We spoke about this being a bull flag here as well. And you just needed to play that breakout. So you can see that breakout right there. Boom. Look at this impulse candle, which took us once again to new all time highs. And we went as high as forty two thousand dollars, guys, forty two thousand eighty four dollars. So that is currently the new all time high with Bitcoin. Um, and currently what happened after that 
was again uh pushed down so there was a lot of selling um everybody was selling once we got over that once we broke down past 40 then people started panicking a bit again it looks like and uh and the sellers just took over for a bit right so probably the the majority of the day the sellers were pushing the price down pushing the price down um we ended up going as low as 38,673 and then we bounced right back up look at this big green candle pin bar um and we went right back up on that support so we got that 40,000 support which is currently where we're at right now so as long as we stay above this 40,000 support we're kind of good right now right so that's gonna be a strong support remember 40,000 was a very very strong rejection so that means if we stay on top of it it's gonna be a very very strong support as well so right now we have the typical bull flag setting up here after the impulse move consolidation and uh you know we're printing a little bit lower a little bit lower right so we're printing low, lower lows um and we're kind of bouncing within the same pattern just like we did here just like we did here and if you continue down you're gonna see the same exact pattern just happening over and over again guys so currently we're within this bull flag as long as this continues like this we're consolidating this is a very very normal uh, market structure as you guys can see it's done the same thing here um so we could either continue consolidating down or until we see that breakout or we could just break out at any time right so you guys see here we consolidated consolidated and then boom right and that could definitely happen as well consolidation consolidation and then boom so we just need that breakout now how do we know where that breakout is the breakout will probably be somewhere above these candles right here so it's gonna be that 41,000 uh, range I believe once we break around there it's gonna be somewhere in that zone because it's gonna it has to be above these candles right so um, somewhere in that zone once we can get out and above that we should be able to not only test uh, retest the 42k new all-time highs but we should be able to go beyond and above it right um, and now where do I expect Bitcoin to go now that we're up and above 40,000 like I told you guys in yesterday's video um, and like I told you guys when we broke 30k right um, I don't think uh, there's anything between 40,000 and 50,000 right of course it's gonna be consolidation but I a hundred percent once we break out of this and uh, continue up I a hundred percent see us going all the way to 50,000 guys so I definitely see us up here in this zone somewhere right so obviously that's not gonna be a straight shot we're probably at every whole number we'll see some sellers come in so you know you could expect this and we'll break then we'll consolidate there and then we'll break then we'll consolidate break consolidate until we hit 50 then we'll probably like come all the way back down to 45 40 and then shoot back up and test it again and and that's more or less what I'm expecting there and 50 is gonna be a huge number if you guys thought that 40,000 rejection was hard wait till you guys see 50 I imagine 50 is gonna be a very very hard rejection because it's just such an an even you know whole number it's halfway to a hundred right so um, people are gonna sell 100% they're gonna see 50 as like oh my god 50 I'm halfway to a hundred I'm selling you know what I mean so um, expect a huge rejection um, I can definitely see a rejection from 50 pushing us back down here to like 40 and then us slowly climbing back up kind of like that and be prepared for just a lot of volatility at that point once we shoot up and above 50 then I mean what else is there to hold us back from hitting 100 at that point right so I think that's what the mentality is gonna be um, once we're able to break 50 then 100 is that next key level for us right um, so um, that's so that's why 50 is gonna be such a big big zone because if we break 50 then there's really nothing else holding us back from 100 if we could hit 50 we could hit 100 it's only a matter of time so um that's the that's gonna be kind of that's kind of what i'm looking for right now right now let's go ahead and take a look at ethereum guys um as you guys can see here on ethereum 
um, it's very very similar to um, to Bitcoin as you guys can see we have the same type of um, bull flag here uh, as you can see there's a whole bunch of consolidation right now in that zone um, it's not as clean as Bitcoin's bull flag but it's still it's still the same pattern right so what we're waiting for here on Ethereum is this breakout so uh, for for us to really get that breakout we gotta kind of get above these candles here right that's around that that 1250 zone probably so we're gonna need to see a break above that once we break that then i'm for sure we're going to test the previous highs right here and um and once we were able to break through that then you know all time high is where we're going right so i 100 believe we're going to be hitting this all-time high sometime soon um as long as bitcoin continues up and it doesn't drop drastically, right? As long as there's nothing crazy, uh, no sort of crazy drop from Bitcoin. All right, guys, we're about to jump into the trade setup section of this video. I just wanna remind you guys, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Then also don't forget to like it and drop a comment. Let us know um, how you guys are doing so far with, uh, with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Are you guys holding? Are you guys trading? How are your trades going? Let us know in the comments. All right, so who's ready for some trade setups for the weekend to make some profits? Let's jump right in, guys. All right, so on Bitcoin, we wanna be a little patient, um, but we, we wanna use this 40K level, right? But so you have to keep in mind that we're kind of in the middle of this range, right? So we're right in the middle of this range. So even if we use this 40K to enter, you have to be ready for it to drop down here, right? So that's the only thing with this entry. Um, so you either have to either one, uh, have a wide stop, which is, I mean, it's never really a good idea because you never know what might happen. Um, or two, wait for a better entry down at around here, around that 39K. Um, somewhere on the bottom of this range. But the issue with that is that you're risking missing out on the trade. If, you know, if that doesn't take off, then uh, if it doesn't come back down to the bottom of this of this trend, you know, you're gonna miss out that 40K entry, right? So the next entry, um, if you don't wanna play that risky game of trying to enter 40K, keeping a, a tight stop, and uh, just continuing to enter it every time it breaks back, back above, uh, you know, because you can get eaten by the consolidation. It'll eat up your stops, right? So what you can do is wait on that breakout trade. So that's going to be the next trade that we look for. The next trade that we're looking for is a break above right here, right? So that's that 41K area. So we want to see the price break above here. If we break above here, we're most probably going to test this previous high. If we test that previous high, we might bounce around a little bit, but I believe that we'll get enough volume to break through it because we've already broken through the main one, which is 40K. That's the strongest resistance that we had. Um, now it's just a matter of coming back up, breaking this, and once we break that 42, that we're just gonna keep running you know that next big one is probably gonna be like 45 and then we're definitely gonna hit 50 it, it will only be a matter of time so if we do test the bottom of this range then um, the trade setups that we're gonna be looking for is probably an entry around this 39k to 38 right so uh, around that range would be the that next entry if we were to come and test this bottom area of the range I would like to enter on a break of 30 nine so that would be that would mean that the price bounced from the bottom of the range and went back up right and if for any reason we continue lower than that over the weekend you know then this this fibonacci level right here is what we're going to be watching for entries that's going to be the thirty-eight thousand area and it's the 23.6 percent fibonacci all right so keep that level in mind guys if we continue down in this uh, bull flag pattern that's the levels that we're watching uh for a support entry all right so let's go ahead and take a look at ethereum now like we said before ethereum's in the same pattern it's just consolidating here um so this is the basic range that it's currently at 
Um, what we're looking for is a breakout above, basically above this level right here. So that's about 1250. Um, if we break out above 1250, then we can go ahead and test this uh, 1300, you know, this previous high right here. And if we're able to go ahead and finally break out above that, then we're definitely testing the previous all time highs at 1400 guys. If we uh, come back down to the bottom of this range, then we're probably looking at this Fibonacci level right here, the 23.6% level uh, for a possible entries there, right? Um, so it would probably, you know, it would be something like this where it came down here um, and on the bounce back, this is, that's kind of where we would be looking to enter. So probably on a bounce back above 1150 guys. And that is pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys wrote down these trades uh, because we're probably going to be taking these trades over the weekend if they happen, right? If these trade setups don't happen, then there's nothing to do and we're just going to sit and enjoy our weekend. There's no reason to force a trade when there's not a trade. Guys, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button and share this video. Turn on notifications. Um, we're at, I think, 27, over 2,700 subs now. We're on our way to 3,000. We're definitely crushing 3,000 by the end of this month. So go ahead and do that, guys. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekends. I will see you guys on Monday. As always, peace and love.